In today's video, I was sent a custom Yu-Gi-Oh! mystery box. Time to What's up, guys? We are back with another special Yu-Gi-Oh! mystery box, which is going to be pretty exciting. I was sent this from Grandpa's Card Corner on Instagram. He made his own special mystery boxes, which look pretty cool. One legendary collection pack, one premium value pack, three modern, three classic packs. So we got eight total packs per box, English packs, volume one. So I guess there's going to be more at some point, but this is actually really cool looking. I'm excited about this because, you know, packs. I love packs. But before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this gold rare IP Mascarena and a sealed Formula Synchron. All you have to do is like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below what do you think about these mystery boxes let's get into it all right and because there's only eight packs in this box i am going to have eight packs of some modern and classic stuff as well so we're going to throw these in make it more fun you know have a little bit of each so i think i'm going to start off with one power of the elements before we get into it and let's see if we can pull something awesome so shout out to grandpa's card corner for sending me these uh or this box i should say i appreciate it he did send it to me for free so keep that in mind i don't know if this is how they're all gonna be i mean i'm assuming that's the intention you know but you know you have to take everything with a grain of salt keep that in mind so super rare on that first one let's open this thing up i have known grandpa's card corner for a while on instagram so actually there is a note here isn't there so we probably look, should look at that so from what i've dealt with seems like a trustworthy and good person but don't necessarily uh you know go buy like a million of these and then if you get scammed don't blame me okay it's not my fault all right so use use common sense but Gar grandpa's card corner has been a good guy in the past so let's see what's going on here we have grandpa's card corner mystery mini booster box i really man this is like looks really good check this out it looks amazing one legendary collection pack so here are the premium packs you can get the uh legendary collection you get okay 25th anniversary pack you get some modern packs i don't know how much these cost actually okay the price was 23.95 euro i think that's actually that seems crazy good actually 2.99 per pack euro or so that will be a little bit different for usd but uh they're actually pretty similar at this point so you can get premium pack you get classic pack there's nothing like really old it looks like i mean classic apparently only means back to like 20 15 so yeah it's not like you're getting like Ferro servant or something like that but i mean you will in legendary collection but it's still pretty nice not bad we'll see what we get out of here i really like just the pr presentation of this looks really good the box looks good this looks great honestly killing it so far let's open this thing up and see what's inside i don't know how i'm going to open this with only getting one pack at a time this is going to be tough because i don't want to spoil it let's go with just go try to go one at a time all right first pack that, I think that's a, one of the classic facts. First edition Raging Tempest. This is 2015. I think this is as old as it gets in this box. So we're starting it off. I mean, it's only downhill from here in terms of how old it is. So Raging Tempest. I think we can do three from the back. We have the Super Quano Alphan Spike. We have Samsara. Hebo, Lord of the River. White Princess. Cypher. Speedroid Horse Stilts. The Wind Witch. And we have Sea Monster of Theseus. I have pulled this card. Back when I used to open a bunch of mystery boxes before YouTube, I was just buying them. You know, like you guys. I was going to Walmart. I was buying a ton of stuff, opening a bunch of stuff. I pulled this card like four times out of Raging Tempest. We'll make it five because we just pulled it again. Secret Rare. That's pretty awesome, actually. It looks like a Euro print, too. It feels like one. Not a crazy card at the moment, but I mean, look, it's it's hilarious. Two tuners. That's it. That's the whole thing. All right. That is a pretty sick pull. Secret Rare. I mean, it only costs you $24 or 24 euro or whatever. I mean, pretty cool. I like I like the price point. Pretty impressive. We have branded Sprite Red. We have Propaganda Gandake. We have the Smashers, Digit Jamming, Morphtronic Earphone, Branded Expulsion, and Power Tool Braver Dragon. Okay, I'm going to mix in a couple because there's only seven more packs in there. I have a, maybe 10 or 12 of my packs. So let's see. We're going to do four from the back. We have... DDD Headhunt, Flower Dino. Can we get a Starlight Rare out of here? I love the Starlights in this set, besides the Teresia, which is, that'll be the one we pull. So as we have Tribe Drive and Nordic. I, would, I still wouldn't be mad if we got a uh, Teresia, even though it's not crazy expensive right now. Let's save the classics for later in the video. I'm gonna do another Battles of Chaos and we'll get back to the mystery box. So far, pretty nice opening. Let's see if we can get something big right here. Mad Hacker, let's go. Lapswell, Dogmatic Cabre, Groza, Leaf Place Palace. Ghostric Shot, Eurodora of Fate, Dartron, and Nordic Smith. Evaldi. Okay, next one. Let's see if they're going to be in order. 
I don't know. Am I going to get all the classic packs in a row? I think I am. Dual Overload. I have not opened this in a long time. Let's see. Is this? Yeah, Dual Overload. It's the Christian Hauke Fibrax pack. So we're getting all the classics in a row. I'm trying not to grab a classic next time. Dual Overload's pretty sick. It's a five, uh, five card set, all foils. So I think they're all ultras. Five headed Link Dragon. That's actually a sick one. Okay. The Reptilian Echidna. Deck lockdown, baby. Deck lockdown. We have the. Ooh. This was a pretty big one. I think it got a reprint recently, though, but that's a nice card. And then the Hollow Giants. Wow, that's actually pretty sick. I've not opened that set since it came out, I don't think. You just don't really see it anywhere. It was really popular when it first came out. I mean, that was 20... This was right before I started streaming, so 2020. I did a massive opening video. It was like two hours or something. I think Chelsea helped me uh, back in the day. We did a huge, like, couple-hour opening video instead of a stream. And then I think the next set of it, like, right after that was... Uh, Battles of Legend Armageddon and then uh, right no Rise of the Duelist then Battles of Legend Armageddon. Ooh, Rhino Heart. Very cool. So yeah, bringing back some memories on that one. That was right when we were getting into opening. Tier Elements, Rhino Heart. And that's when I opened my TCG store. My very first sales were Dual Overload. I had tons and tons of stuff listed. All right, let's keep it going. One, two, three. And speaking of store, go check out Ruxin34.com if you guys want to grab something from me. Not my TCG store because it's usually closed now because I mostly moved everything to ruxin34.com, so go check that out. That way, uh, it's not taking such huge fees from a TCG player, because they are pretty big. So I appreciate it if you guys do go check that out. Let's pull out the next mystery pack. I'm gonna go from, I think this might be the Legendary Collection. Yeah, Pharaoh Servant. I said a lot like you're gonna get Pharaoh Servant, and then we pull Pharaoh Servant, of course, so. Yeah, <laughs> I meant the original, but still, that's pretty funny that we got it. We have Dukuru Yaiba, classic, Dark Bat. Gradius, where's Gradius' option? Fire Dragon, Kuwagata, Diruchen Kuwagata, Cyber Falcon. This now has the Cyber, not treated as a Cyber card, which, bullcrap, okay? Monster Recovery and Burning Land. Okay, so nothing in that one. That's okay. We still got a lot of packs to be open today, like this Extreme Victory First Edition pack. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. Can we pull a Ghost Rare? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm going to do three to be safe. We don't want an Ultra Rux and Special here. Esper Girl, we have TGSX1. Resonant Destruction, Sealing Ceremony of Mokotong, Force Resonator, Red Dragon Vase, Lancer Lindworm, Psy Beast, and Morphtronic Stapling. Watch out, he's going to staple you up, unfortunately. All right, let's go to another pack in here in the mystery box. Let's do... Oh, first edition JNU. This has got to be... Oh, this is the Duelist pack. I mean, honestly, I feel like we, we got the short end of the stick of this one. We want to probably Toon Chaos, Rarity Collection, Battles of Legend, Armageddon, uh, Dragons of Legend, Ghost from the Past 1. That is Number Hunters, I think. That's not great as well. Dark Illusion's cool. Why is Dark Illusion a premium pack? Is that just mean like expensive pack? Is that like that what that means by premium? Like that's like the top packs, I guess. Yeah, this one's like kind of cool because it's first at Jade and Yuki, but at the same time, it's, you know, there's nothing huge to pull in here. Unless I'm wrong. Maybe I'm, there's a lot of Jade, Jade and Yuki packs, so maybe I forgot. Let's see what it is. This is still really cool to open a Jaden pack. Oh, Dark Gaia. That's a pretty cool card. I'll say that. Give us some Edison stuff. Swing of Memories, that's not Edison. Grand Mole, that's Edison-like. That's Edison. You can use it in Edison, Reverse of Neos. And Glomoss. So, some pretty classic Jaden and Neos cards. And then Dark Guy, of course, is pretty cool. Honestly, not bad on that one. I'm not, I'm not angry. Pretty decent. I mean, that's pretty cool. You can even get that in a box like this. So, very, very cool. Four from the back on Power of the Elements. Sprite Carrot. The carrots are spriting. Princess, Overroot, Crime, Vindred, Crosskeeper, Vanguard of the Underworld Emperor, the most distant, deepest depths, and Moray of Avarice. Let's go. Ultra rare. That's pretty cool. You know, Pot of Avarice, Moray of Avarice, Moray agreed. They mixed together. I can't open the sleeve. There we go. That's pretty awesome. Banish one face up fish. Sea Servant or Akamanchi. You control, draw two cards. Very awesome. Okay, let's pull another card. Let's see, or another pack. We have Legendary Duelist Duels from the Deep. Yeah, these, not exactly. Yeah, these are these are pretty rough. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's Duels from the Deep. This is not, not much in here, but you can get a Ghost Rare. So there's a rare. Saber Shark. Let me see 101. And Marin says wait. Okay, it's Legendary Duelist Duels from the Deep. You know, what do we expect? Let's open a Battles of Chaos. Let's see what we can pull. One, two, three, four. It is Maple Maiden. We have Smoke Mosquito, Headhunt, Flower Dino, Skill Brown Magician, Doll Monster Bear Bear, Rock Scales, Ghost Rick Shot, and Nordic Smith Evaldi for the second time today. Okay, still some packs left. Let's see what we can get. Oh, it's like a Mega 10 pack or something. Oh, 2023, 2022. 
to the feral gods. I forgot. They, they had such a weird pack. It was so shiny. All right, shiny pack. We have Arm Dragon Thunderbolt, Brandon White. Let's see what we can get. Star Mine. What was it, 2022? Pot of Prosperity was in the shiny pack? I don't remember this. No, it was only the Euro packs that were like that. That's why I don't remember. Okay, Pot of Prosperity. That's what we want. That's why I was like, I know I've seen this before, and I was thinking it's 23. Tremora, we have Lina, the Light Charmer. Lustrous, Mimicking Maneater Bug, pretty awesome. Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion, that's good. Okay, Virtual World. All right, no Pot of Prosperity. Yeah, 22 only has one Seeker Rare. So yeah, I mean, Ghost Bell's pretty good. We can't complain about that. It's not a bad pull. Let's open Pharaoh Servant next. Pharaoh Servant. <sighs> Original print. One, two, three, four. We have Mystic Probe, Solomon's Law Book, Deep Sea Warrior. This is original print. Oh, original print, Oni Tang, Grux, and 34. Just saying. Pretty amazing. Nice pull. We have Souls of the Forgotten. We have Gust. Insect Barrier. Spike Bot. Can we get a foil here? Buster Blader. Jinzo, obviously. Imperial Order would be nice. Thousand is restrict. Let's go. Trap. Okay, Imperial Order. Call the Hunted. Backup soldier, okay. A foil's a foil, I'll take it. We're gonna summon Exodia from the graveyard. We're gonna grab it back to our hand, I'll take it. Backup soldier, super rare. I'm not mad about pulling an old school, super rare. I'm never mad about that. All right, how many packs left in here? I think there's three more. Goes from the past two. This one was on classic, I think? This is a classic pack? I feel like we've gotten more than three classic packs. Maybe not. Okay, I'm not really, I don't, I guess classic just means they have classic cards. Because, like, obviously, two years old, it's not classic. So, I assume that's because, like, it has the classic ghost rares in it, I guess. Uh, Tinny Spirit. I'm confused by the grouping a little bit, but there's still cool stuff. Uh, Don King Kalyuga. And number 97, Dragoobleon with a crazy forehead. Check that thing out. Not a lot going on down there. Dragoobleon. Massive miscut. That's pretty cool. All right, extreme victory. One more chance at a victory. That will be extreme. Three from the back. We have... Scarlet Security, Ruxin Special, massive one, Super Ruxin Special. We have Dragonoot, TGSX1, we have the Thala. We got that same thing last time. Aquamere, I can't speak. Elder, TGX1, HL, Six Style Dual Wield. And Psy Beast, wait, I did the pack trick wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. There's only eight cards in this pack. There was a Ghost Rare in there. Just saying, there used to be a Ghost Rare in there. Something happened. It's gone. It disappeared. I can't see it. So strange. All right, two packs left. Oh, wait. Oh, you got a promo? Did I miss this? Including one secret or higher. I didn't see that. Oh, and I didn't see this. The next, next launch available for May. So there's another launch in May. All right, I didn't see that because I didn't flip it over. Five comments, four foil rarity, including one secret or higher. Oh, this is the next. No, this is the next edition. This is like custom cards. And there's his info right there, by the way. Uh, Why are we getting a secret, though? What is this for? I don't see this on here. Okay, I'll take it. I don't know why it's here, but I'll take it. And then uh, we got two more packs. We have Valiant Smashers, okay. Let's see if we can get something crazy out of here. It's probably a Euro pack, so I'm not gonna do any pack trick here. We have Perform a Trick Clown, Advanced Draw. Momentic Land, Bone Back. We have a Pophis. And Center Iron Phalanx, that is a super. Okay, I have one more Pharaoh Servant, then one more pack in the mystery box, and we will end this video. It's been a fun one so far. Had some pretty decent pulls, honestly. Pretty cool mystery box. I'm a fan of it. I think it did pretty well. Uh, we have Dokuro Yaiba, Dark Bat, Insect Imitation, Attack and Receive. Can I get another foil out of Pharaoh's Servant? Infinite Dismissal. Don't dismiss me just yet. Bubonic Vermin. Z, not Z. <laughs> Seven completed, not Z Metal Tank. And Dimension Hole. Yeah, okay. That is some great centering on the Dimension Hole. We have been Dimension Hole. Final pack. If you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys watching. Got more videos coming out soon. Here we go. Bowser's Legend Monsters Revenge. Cool. Also, don't forget to check out Ruxin34.com. I got a lot of things available there. Go check that out if you haven't already. I don't think I'm going to do a pack trick here. Last pack magic, Viper's Grudge. We've got Sage of Strength. Akash. We've got Performer Pal Eyes Butler. Yeah, Punk Sharakusai. And Terraforming Secret. That's a pretty cool secret. I mean, it got a quarter century in that set, but honestly, pretty cool mystery box. I think it did pretty well. Price point's pretty low, so it's not like you're like losing a ton of money if you don't get anything, which is always cool to have that option. It's always cool to have mystery boxes at a lower price point. So very, very cool. I think it did a good job. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Anessa Dianda, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barning, Robert F. Changalang, Adelso Garcia Jr., and Edwin K. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Peace.